Good morning, everyone. TGIF. Thank goodness it's Friday. Rose Ward here, StampersDelight.com. How's everybody doing today? Hop on. Tell me where you're from. It is the weekend. I couldn't be more excited. So let me know what you're up to this weekend. Don't forget to share my videos and also go to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today what I'm going to play with, well, first grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me, okay? I'm not sure how many mugs I'm up to. Remember, we're counting the different mugs. See how many I can use. All right, so let's grab my glasses here. So today what I decided to do was the um, August Paper Pumpkin. Let me bring those in. And the add-on bundle. Now I am going to show you a lot of it, but here's the um, here's the August Paper Pumpkin. And it did come with six cute little bags. And then you could do the add-on bundle right here. So we're going to be playing around with that. Before I do that, while we're waiting for everybody to get on, just a couple of things to remind you. It's the last few days. August 31st is the last day to redeem your bonus points if you've got some bonus dollars last month. It's also the last few days to sign up for your starter kit and get an extra $30. Okay, so join my team. It's growing by leaps and bounds. We're having a great time. Also, don't forget that if you are a demonstrator, um, on stage is open now. It's filling up fast, so sign up for that. All my happy mail has gone out for this week. I will be sending more out, so keep your addresses. Keep sending me your addresses. Janie Anderson, I didn't forget your um, prize patrol. That will be going out today. And let's see what else. I've got so many things to tell you. Oh, the most important, well, one of the most important things, I'm this close to Maui. I mean by a couple of thousand dollars, which means a few more orders. So don't forget, the person that puts me over that mark to get Maui is going to get that great bag, that tote bag, which I've been showing. And it's going to be here before you know it. So I think that's, oh, my September class schedule is out. So if you haven't gotten that and you're near me or you want to come join me, just um, private message me and I'll send you my September list. My retreat is in October. That's an all-day retreat. So I do have my schedule planned all the way out till December. So if you'd like a copy of that schedule or a catalog, just private message me, okay? Or go to stampersdelight.com and email me. So I don't see anybody on yet, but sometimes that does take a few minutes. So we're going to get started because I got a lot of things to show you, okay? So I'm going to switch the camera. And again, stampersdelight.com. This is my host code for August. If you'd like to order online, you can go to stampersdelight.com. Go to um, my website and use that host code. Let's move that out of the way. So let me show you the kit first, okay? So here's the paper pumpkin kit for August. Now this is an extra one I ordered. I usually do order the extras, and of course I forgot my scissors. Let me grab a pair of scissors. All right. Wow, I'm not seeing any anybody on here, so let me fix that. I don't know why they're not coming up. Okay, maybe it's coming up now. Okay, so there everybody is. I don't know what happened. It took so long to... Hi, everybody. Good morning. Okay, so this was the August kit. Okay, now usually I open it up in front of you, but this was an extra, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. So here's the stamp sets. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank, thankful for friends like you. Enjoy. Grateful for fam family like you. You get a little Mary Merlot ink spot. And then inside here is your kit with the the cute little um, gift bags and tags. Okay, and that opening that, I will show you the pieces to it. Again, it's my extra one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. 
the extra add-on bundle is these great cards and envelopes. Okay. So we're going to move that out of the way, and then I'll show you the pieces. Okay, so for the bags and tags, you get six of these cute little bags, which, of course, I've used some. You get these white tags, some fall tags. You're getting these circles. You're getting these circles here. Oh, yeah, it's adorable, Kit. You haven't seen anything yet. And of course, we got to have some bling, some gold sequins in different sizes. Let me just move these out of the way. We got these great vellum pieces. And a couple more here, some leaves. Of course, I've been using mine, so there's a few more leaves. You get some of these um, little flowery things. Okay, leaves too. And you can also use that side of it. I'll show you how. If you don't like the print on it, I'll show you what I did with that. The other one you get is the purpley one. And let's see what else we get here. You get some of the crumb cake, which again, you can use the other side if you don't like that. And then for the sentiment tags, you get these different sizes and the crumb cake. And then I'm not going to show you all of them the same size. You get these. Of course, you also get your dimensionals and your glue dots. And of course, some linen thread or twine and some great ribbon. So that's in the color and in the kit. Yes, great fall colors. We're just going to move those over for a minute. Okay. And then, again, here's the envelopes that you get. And did I tell you how many you get in here? You get 24 card bases of two different designs with envelopes. So, And the, the kit itself had plenty to use to make up those all six bags plus all these cards you can see I haven't even begun wait till you see all I did with it and I haven't even begun to use it up so this is one of the card bases you can see that's a nice fall wreath and then the other one is like a splash of color here and you can use them this way or you can use it this way so that's everything in the two kits again <clears throat> I've been using mine. So let me show you first the examples. And I don't stamp the examples on live because you can see that on the um, paper pumpkin video that they put out. But one of them, okay, so here's one of them. This is the bag. And I will give you a couple little hints with this. So you can spritz this ribbon with water and it'll lay flat. But it kind of curls on its own, and I really like that. So I left it curly. Okay, so that's a cute little bag. Put that over there. And again, I'll do still shots later. This is the other bag. And you can see, I, again, I left it curly. And another thing, which I'll try later, is, well, actually, let me try it now, since I have it right here. You can heat some of our ribbon up. I'm not sure if this one's going to work. And it will... Let's see. I'm just playing around with this because I wanted to try this. Yeah, you can heat it up too to straighten it out, see? Or you can spritz it with water. There's some ribbons that even the heat gun will make it curl. But you see how now that's flat? But I really liked it curly. That was the second one. And again, these are the samples that are in the My Paper Pumpkin video. And one of the card alternatives they had was right here. Now you're going to see I'm using, I'm going to be using some other sets. This inside leaf right here is from Colorful Seasons. You're going to see me using Colorful Season bundle with this kit. So, you know, I use that leave a lot. 
so they do coordinate with that the other one that they had in the video is this one and of course I I'm trying to think is this the one I cut oh wait a minute hold on yeah this is the one I cut let's see where the other one is here don't mind me might be over there okay this one I trimmed down because I wanted more of this color to show okay pretty sure that was the one in the video uh, it might be <laughs> it might be here I got so many of them I lost track but you'll see them all anyway okay so that's another one now for my alternatives one of the alternatives I did was I turned it the other way Good morning, Bunny, Philomena, Beverly, Lisa. Thank you for joining. So here's one of the alternatives I did. I took the card, I turned it the other way, and then I added some of the leaves, the, the um, crumb cake leaves, added a bow, and made it into a different kind of, because you can still see the colors behind there. So I changed that up a little bit. I'm grateful for family. I have all my Thanksgiving cards done now. Okay, so that's another alternative I did. I'm going to show you a couple of them here. Oh, look at that. I got a sequin on me. We'll just stick that right here. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, another um, alternative that I did not bring that in is I used the white banner, and I stamped that with the stamp that's in the set but if you bring it up close you see this it looks like it's water effect but it's got a little shimmer can you see that you may not be able to see that what I did was I took our crystal shimmery crystal effects and I dotted that on the vellum paper and it makes it dimensional so you can see it's shiny it also gives it some shimmer good evening in Australia Okay, and I also put some of the um, crystal effects right here. I love our crystal effects. I'm so glad it's back, and this new pen makes it so much easier to use. So that was an alternative. The next alternative, two alternatives that I did, I used our Country Home, which is in the annual catalog. So is... Uh, colorful seasons this oh gosh it goes so well with it you can use the can you can use the picture you can use all of the sayings so those are available now <clears throat> so let me bring that in and show you so here's the first one I did the alternative and of course I colored that with our blends put that on dimensionals good morning Karen hi Connie And again, I use this from the Colorful Seasons. So you can mix and match. That's what I love about these great sets. And of course, that matches the vellum pieces. The other one I did with the um, Country Home. I'll bring that in. And I did what I did here was I used the vellum and those um, crumb cake pieces. And if you can see, I put Wink Estella on them. Can you see? Oh, yeah, you can see it shimmer. And then I put a little bow on there. That was the next one. And then here was the, uh, another uh, one that I did. Again, I used some of the uh, vellum pieces behind there, some of the um, already cut out die cuts, and then I just added the ribbon behind it. So you can see that you can do so much with this kit. So hopefully you got the kit. <clears throat> um, so I have a couple more samples, but I'm also going to be showing you those. So we're going to get stamping. Okay. So the first one I want to bring in is this one and hopefully I don't drop anything. Okay. And bring that over here. So this was another alternative I used and this one I used with the colorful seasons dyes. Okay. So here you see, and I used, actually I had some leftover pieces with our foil paper. So you can see that. And there's that stamp again. 
So let me show you how I did this one. I, of course, I already did my pieces here. I'm probably going to change this one up a little bit, but we'll see. Okay, so here we get started. I'm going to take... Now, all these pieces didn't fall out, and I didn't take the time to... Here's my pokey tool. Here's my, just going to get those pieces out real quick. So this is the original one, and I always like to change it up a little bit, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use two leaves. Get those little pieces out. And this one I'm going to actually do this way. Okay. I may have to, there we go, like that. I think I'm going to put another leaf maybe right here. Just right, what I'm doing right now is just deciding where I want everything. And this one, I'm actually going to put down here. But what I'm going to do, remember I said you don't have to use that color. You can take your sponge dauber and make it a different color. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sponge this up a little bit. This is a mellow, uh, mango melody. <laughs> A little too early for that. Okay. Put that right there. Okay, so now that I know basically where I want everything, I'm just going to put a little snail here. So as I layer it, it stays down. Okay, so this one's going to go right here. This one's going to go right up to it. You can also cut that off. Might add a little more snail there. I'm going to put this one right here. Got to make sure that you have it over far enough from the crease. So we'll put that one right there. Now for the smaller ones, and again, I'm just layering this all. Let's see. We can also use Tombow, which I have my Tombow here. And if you get our storage units, they come with these great plastic pieces or styrofoam pieces. Look at that. You can keep all your Tombow right there. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to arrange it here. Okay, so right on top of that, I'm going to add a little more snail. Layer those on there. I'm going to bring this one in. Well, first I'm going to do the saying. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the Happy Thanksgiving. Now, the Happy Thanksgiving is from this set. I'm going to use my large Merry Merlot because I saved the little ones for giveaways. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this. Oh, before I forget to tell you, I don't think I have anything going on this Sunday, so I'm going to hop on Sunday at 7 p.m., and I'm going to show everybody my card buffet. Everybody's been asking how that works and what I do. So tune in 7 o'clock Sunday. As long as nothing else happens. Um, and I'll be showing you my card buffet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add some dimensionals to this. Place that right there. Okay. Okay. This little piece, I think I'll put right there. Okay, see, I already changed my mind. I could use my glue dots, but for time's sake, I'm just throwing some snail on there. Maybe put it behind here, because I, I want that nice shimmery to show. All right, then I'm going to grab a little piece of my ribbon. Hopefully I, I can get through all the cards that I want to stamp and just see how it curls. I love that. And that's going to go right about here. You can always take it off and move it. I'm going to pull out my glue dots. Glue dots do come with the kit, but I'm using my glue dots on my roll. And I'm just going to lay that right there. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to bring in some sequins. And I'm just going to add a few of those onto it. 
That's the larger one. Here's the smaller one. And I'll grab another smaller one for maybe right here. And then I'm going to flip it over. And for the inside, I'm going to take the leaf that goes to the Colorful Seasons in the Mary Merlot. And you know what? I'm going to change this a little bit. I use this one in the mango. And then the saying, Happy Thanksgiving. These are all stuck together. Grateful for family like you. I'm going to grab my Mary Merlot. Voila. And then, of course, I'll fold it. It's already scored, so it could crisp fold there works. So there's my first one. Okay. Again, same concept, just a little bit different. So that's another alternative. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, so... Let's show you this one next because I really want to get through this one. Okay, so maybe you don't want your bags to be Thanksgiving. How about Christmas? A little gift bag. Okay, so this is from our new stamp, our new catalog. The ribbon is, I think this is time for Santa. I didn't bring over the paper. This ribbon is the curly ribbon, which you can also make into tassels. See how I did that? Okay. So with this, and I've already cut the pieces so you could see it, I layered, I took some of the card, uh, some of the designer series paper, I took a card from the Memories and More, and I trimmed it down so it'll fit right on there. I'm going to go ahead and snail that down because I really want to show you this. And these pieces don't go on there. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in our puff paint, Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. This we had when I first started using Stampin' Up! And my son was young, and he loved this. You're going to give it a good shake, okay? I'm shaking it, shaking it, shaking it back here. And then I'm just going to put some of it. You don't need a lot, just like that. I'll bring it up so you can see it. You can add more later. So you got a, it's a little liquidy. Then I'm going to bring in my heat tool. And I'm going to heat it. So there it is, liquidy. Bring it up as far as I can, so you can see when it starts puffing. Just keep moving it. You want to make sure you get it all puffed up because otherwise it'll be liquidy and it'll get all over. One last hit. There we go. And there you have it. You can see it's puffed up. Okay. And this is going to go right here. I'm going to kind of angle. Well, this one's angled. This one I'm not going to angle. I'm just going to maybe lay it flat there. Now, I cut the, uh, you see there's no hole there. I got a, I didn't cut it. I cut it down to match. So what I need to do is bring in a hole punch. So I'm going to put a punch there. And for this one, I'm going to use our other ribbon in our holiday catalog. Okay, this is our diagonal striped ribbon. I'm just going to put that right through there. Grab one of the I'm not gonna measure it, I just kind of cut it. I'll fix it later. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this, pull this over. Great little gift bags for Christmas. You just play around with that a little bit. Maybe you don't like the way that is cut, so you're going to trim it a little bit more. 
don't want to cut my finger, which I have done before. Be careful with your snips. They're very sharp. Okay, and then you just play around with this. All right, and then once I get it where I want it, I'm going to take some dimensionals. Oh, I know, I know what I want to add to it, so I'm changing it already. And this little two, two and love is from the Memories and More kit. But I'm just going to run over here and get something real quick. <clears throat> which is our glimmer enamel dots from the holiday catalog which are green and red why didn't I think of that oh that's okay and I'm just gonna add a few of those onto my bag okay so maybe I want to put maybe the medium size I don't know that I really want to put the large ones on there but I think I'll do green. There we go. And then maybe the smaller one here with another green one here. You can decorate the bag any way you want, but there you go. Now you got a little Christmas bag. So if you don't want to use them as Thanksgiving bags, use them as Christmas bags and all the other pieces. Of course, you can um, use for your cards. So there's some more alternatives. There was one alternative. I don't know where it went. Oh, I was hiding it. I'm not going to stamp this one, but I want to show you. If you've never done a shaker card, I have a video out there on how to do a shaker card. But what I did with this one, let me, I'll tell you how I did it. I brought this in. I cut this. I trimmed it around there. That's this piece. And then I took our circle punch layering circle punches and I cut that out you can use that for the inside of your shaker card I however messed it up so instead what I did was I grabbed one of these and made that the background can you see that but you can use that I had to throw mine out then what I did was I took this piece which is here and I ran it through which co it coordinates so well with it our layered leaves embossing folder I layered that on mellow uh, mango melody and Cajun craze and you see I put some sequins from woven thread in there and a couple of those leaves the vellum leaves and I made a shaker card again if you if you don't know how to do the shaker cards I have videos out there okay I'm sure I'll be doing more of them but and then inside, I used the saying from Day of Thanks, which we'll be using at my retreat in October. And you see there I have the turkey with the saying, you fill my heart with gratitude this day and always. So again, I layered that up with the um, Day of Thanks too. So you can mix and match. Okay, I knew I was missing another card. Okay, the next one I want to show you and then we're moving right along, so I may have time for all of them, is, okay, are you ready? Also using a day of thanks, but I wanted to show you something else. These are all the pieces, okay, left over, you know, when you take all those great things apart. And you have all this trim here. You could use that for something, I'm sure. This you could cut and use as a negative image on, let's just show you here okay which I usually do and here you have some more purpley okay but the really great piece here let's put him over here so is you see this mango melody piece look at the two big spots you got left so my first thought was okay I can use one of my punches and get some more tags out of there and sure enough you can't get two maybe you can nope okay but you can definitely get one out of there there you go so you definitely can get at least one or two tags out of that piece so don't throw that piece out okay, that's just a little tip for you 
Okay, so the next card I'm going to do is with the Day of Thanks. I'll show it to you first. I've got a sequin on there, too. The sequins are all over the place. And my first thought about this background was it could be turkey feathers. Right? So that's what I did. I made turkey feathers. So let me show you. I already, now there's no dies for this set, the day of thanks. So I fussy cut it that already. But I know you're supposed to use the black memento ink with your blends. But if it's small enough, I find that I can get away with using other colors. You just have to be careful they don't bleed. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go in and use my blends. Okay, that's the dark one. Real quick, make some turkey feathers here. And do a little bit more here. Maybe a little poppy parade. Make sure I got the dark one. Go ahead and blend that in. Because you know turkeys have all kinds of color, colorful feathers. I don't know about anyone else, but we have wild turkeys that roam around our yard. Okay, so let's see what else we want to do. Maybe a little yellow. This one. I'm just want to color it so we can get through it. So I'm just adding a lot of. You can do uh, a lot more colors than this, but again, I want to just be able to show you what I'm doing. And you can see that they're colored differently. Just swirl some color in here. And maybe a little crumb cake down there. Oh, that's okay, Elaine. You can watch the replay. And don't forget, it's also on YouTube. So go to Stamper's Delight and subscribe to my YouTube channel in case you missed the Facebook Live. Just throw some on there, maybe a little on his feet. Okay, so there it goes. All right, so then what I did was I brought in one of the um, sayings, and I need the larger one for this. Remember, there's two, or tags, there's two different sizes. This is using the um, Day of Thanks again. So this is uh, the set the saying to that. It does fit. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use this. You see, I used that one, but let's see if it fits on this one. I think it does. I have to get real close, though. Let's change it up a bit. Yes, it does. A little bit of the H and the T come off, but you can see it. So now I have a different color. Okay, so on the back of this, I'm going to go ahead and put some snail. Excuse my arm. I'm going to take that ribbon. I'm going to start here, and I'm going to wrap it. You might think this is wasting ribbon, but this they give you such a big roll. You have plenty. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to snip that off. Okay, leave that aside for a minute. Okay, so then I'm going to place my turkey right here. You see how it looks like turkey feathers? And this is going to go right about here. Okay, so I'm going to use some dimensionals. I'm going to place those over the ribbon to keep the ribbon in place also. here. Move him out of the way. Put that right about here. And then I want my turkey three-dimensional too, so I'm going to 
pop him up on some dimensionals. Put him right there. So it looks like turkey feathers. And then I'm just going to grab some of those sequins and add them around. Okay. So there you have my turkey. And then I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to use the Happy Thanksgiving also from the Day of Thanks. And instead of the leave from Colorful Seasons, I'm going to go ahead and use the big stamp from the Paper Pumpkin. And there you have it, another Thanksgiving card. Two ideas. I love this one. I hope you do, too. And let's see what time we got. Oh, I might be able to get through the last one. So the last one I have to show you is using more of the colorful seasons. You see I use the other um, card base and some of the cutouts or die cuts from colorful seasons. So let me bring that one in. And here we go. Okay, so again, we've got these die cuts and sayings. I'm going to bring in where, where do I have it? Right here. Okay, I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to use the Mary Merlot. This is to Colorful Seasons. I'm going to stamp right on there. And overlap it. It's okay. Then I'm going to take these two from the die cut from Colorful Seasons. I'm going to place those right about here. Again, I'm going to put a little snail down there to hold it in place while I'm doing all this. Kind of makes that pop. Then I'm going to take one of these little vellum pieces, which is another um, from the kit. I'll put that right there. These guys I think I'm going to color. Okay, you see I used them as the regular pieces, but these, I think I'm going to color this time. So let me just take these out and grab the, just dauber that a little bit. Just got to be careful you don't rip them. And I think I make this one too. There you go. Now, I don't have another dauber, so I'm just going to clean this off, and I'm going to do a no-no. I'm just going to dip it right into my Mary Merlot. <laughs> Let's move this out of the way. It's a darker color, so it's not going to hurt anything, except for this is this dauber is now Mary Merlot. And again, this was the crumb cake one, which I turned over and used it as white. Okay. All right, so... Thankful for friends like you. Again, that's a longer one. Now, the saying is from the Paper Pumpkin. I'm going to go ahead and put that right on there. You could also use the white side of your tags, don't forget. But with the darker color, this comes out okay. And you, I have plenty of tags and everything else left. Okay, so this is going to go right here. So what I'm going to do first, just so I can figure out where I want everything else is I'm going to put some dimensionals down here. And if I'm not saying hi, I apologize. I'm just uh, trying to get my cards done for you. And then, of course, this will be uploaded with the still shots later. If you got your happy mail, mail already, let me know. I'll put that right there. And then I'm going to take these little guys, grab my glue dots, And just put these wherever I want them. So this one's going to go 
right here. Oops. Let's stick him under there. There we go. And then this one and this one I'm going to layer together. Stuck on my paper there. Right about there. So, and of course you see that when I use my box of glue dots, I kind of leave them in here. Sometimes they get stuck. But not as much as they do if I um, don't leave them in that box. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Okay. Grab that one. And grab another one here. One more. Come on. There's a whole bunch that are missing on there. Okay, let's pull it out because it's getting to the end now. So there you usually do have to pull it out of the box. Okay. Okay. This, this one's sticking to my fingers really bad. Okay. So let me grab another glue dot. Let's get this together here. <laughs> They're all sticking to my fingers now. That's why I leave them in the box. Okay. So we got this one. Let me put this under here. That. Oh, look, it turned around and I got part of the crumb cake on there. That's cool. Now I got a co different color in there. Just going to put this one right. Lift that up a little bit. And get that right under there if I can. There we go. So now I got the two different colors. And then I'm going to, again, make a nice little bow. I know I didn't use a lot of my twine, but I'll be using that up later on. Because I love this ribbon, that's why. And I'm just going to tie that. I want a smaller bow for this. There we go. And this is going to go right about here. Grab a glue dot on there. And then go ahead and put some sequins on there. Got the larger ones here. And maybe a smaller one right here. Okay, so how's that? And then for the inside, again, Happy Thanksgiving. I think I'll use the larger one from the Day of Thanks. Just mixing and matching. I have a little bit of everything on this card. A little bit of all three sets. Okay, and maybe the leaf, the smaller leaf from Colorful Seasons right there forgot about that I had that one done too so there is another one okay so I'm going to bring these back in real quick I'm going to do still shots it's almost time for me to get to work and maybe up here maybe I'll put a couple more sequins just looks a little too dull for me so we'll just add a couple more up there <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video I will be picking a name shortly. I know I'm rushing through these now because I got to get to work. Here's some of the the bags. Pull these back in without making a mess. We got these. So much you can do with this kit. So I hope you got this kit. Who knows? I may give one away, depending on how things go. I do have extras. Okay, and then, of course, here's the other bags. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I want you well, let's flip that. Have a great, great weekend. I will see you back here Sunday at 7 p.m. Keep fingers crossed to show you my card buffet since everybody's been asking about it. 
And don't forget to use your bonus dollars. Don't forget to send me your orders. Somebody's going to win that fabulous tote. And let me just see who's going to win. Oh, today's giveaway. Let's see. I got, I got a couple of minutes, which is in this bag. Let me flip the camera. And what I did was I kept a little thing here to do this. Thankful for friends like you. I wanted to show you this real quick. So let's do that. I'm going to layer that with this. And I'm just going to snail it because I'm pressed for time. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to flip this down. This is the this is the prize patrol giveaway. Put that right there. And I took out some washi tape. I know I'm doing this real quick, but some washi tape that's in the annual catalog. I'm just going to layer that right there. I'll probably put a little clip on it. There's my giveaway for today. Let's see who's, see who's going to get that. Okay, the winner is... Pam Schlegel Weeble, W-E-I-W-E-I-B-L-E. -E -E. So, Pam, contact me so I can get your address and get this out to you. Okay, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you tune in on Sunday. And I will be back Sundays very shortly as my regular time. But summer's winding down, so... Trying to get this guy. Let me get him. Put a couple little sequins on there. There we go. Okay. Everyone have a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Rose Ward, Stamper's Delight. Don't forget to join my team. Bye.